fresh as a goddamn daisy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome faces to a new dawn and a new day. Spectacle Tom back at your faces because we have to go and pick up my granddad and we're taking him to the doctors. And just like that, we are here to pick grandpapa up. <laughs> Where are you? Where Get those shoes on, get that coat on, and let's get rocking. This is for you. In you go. <laughs> Just like that. Come on. We're done. So, that was interesting. He's got to be referred to another doctor because that lump on the side of his head that my. Uh, go on. We're going. That my barber Scott noticed. Um, yeah, they're saying it potentially could be a little bit of skin cancer, but it's not to fear. Apparently, they can just go chop it off. Problem solved. Oh, that's, what I want, really. that's the best bet. What do you want? Plowman's lunch? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, you're on. Wait. Favourite one, favourite one. Do, do I see them? Do you like them then? Bloody God. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you don't look it now, I can see you. <laughs> Say hello to our granddad. What a legend. Who is he? There's nothing quite uh, like. Chilly with Marquez, <laughs> my granddad, Roger. having lunch and watching John Wick together. <laughs> Fairly random. What did you just call it? That's not a Christmas tree, it's a festive tree. Yeah. I'm going to put Halloween decorations on it. Do it. Eventually. You should have had um, Easter eggs on it for Easter. I was going to do that, but I don't think I was really here, so I just didn't. Yeah. Take care, good sir. <laughs> Love you, brother. Okay. See you, granddad. Seeing you. We've just finished watching John Wick and Mark showed me this, right? There's this auction house that's that's live that Mark uses to buy like his military stuff from. And this painting has went up for auction at eighty pounds and it's currently being bidded at eighteen thousand six hundred pounds. The woman can't believe it. Like you said this is a painting that's just lay like in this room like that on the side <laughs> and they can't believe that there's almost twenty grand's worth of paint. It must be some sort of rare painting. It's got to be yeah, something, hasn't it? it was 80 quid. She can't believe it. It's nearly on 20,000. She just said, I'll get a, I'm going to get a porter to move yeah. upstairs, <laughs> Oh, my God. Is it actually going to break 20 grand? It's break wait, going once? No. Oh, wait. Wow. Come on, break 20. Wow. Oh, my God. I want to hear it sold. <gasps> Did it go up? Yeah. It just went up again. She hasn't got don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. 23 grand. I, I, what are we watching? This, this is, I don't usually watch auction houses sort of things in the slightest. No, but this is just blowing my mind. Something that should be 80 pounds that you probably would have just bought in a shop and being yeah, like, oh, yeah. that's a nice little painting. He's selling now for 23,400 pounds. I'm going to put the hammer down now at 23,300 pounds. Wow. Oh, God. Clapped and everything. Thank you very much. Holy crap, that's mental. Well, you she never you never remember. know what you've got in your local charity shop or something like that. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's go to another look, man. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy, this is a package all the way from Australia. Now, the way I found this in the first place was I was on Instagram and I've been had by Instagram ads before. You know, like when you talk about something, it pops up and you see something. But and then you're like, oh, you know, the phone's always listening. Well the phone was definitely not listening to this in the slightest, but I was just going through in a recommended page was this, this guy, uh, I believe called, yeah, Jack of Dust. Jack of the Dust, and I was like, whoa, his stuff is amazing. Now, I wanted some Halloween decorations from the house, uh, and this guy does pure like horror, Halloween, that sort of stuff. And he does like prosthetics and all sorts. And one of these things that he does is epic skulls. And you might be like, why the hell would you buy a skull? Now, this is a proper piece of art, let me say. And the reason why I got it is, well, it'll make sense. I am allergic to wasps and bees. Like, I just am. So the thought of a combination of like a skull and wasps and bees, so I was like, you know, it's kind of like something that kills you, you know, that sort of thing. Oh God, there's gonna be so much mess, was there? So I saw this and I was like, that looks absolutely dope. I think I might get one. When I went on his page, I don't know, I'm just pouring all the, the peanuts out. When I went on his page, I realized he had two different styles. And I was like, that is absolutely sick as chips. So I reached out to him and said, do you have any available? Because he says you're out of stock. And lo and behold, he does so. Let me introduce you. By the way, this packaging is dope, man. If he sees this, packaging is super dope. This is the black version of the skull that I ordered. And you'll see the bees on it. This is such, this is, I can't get in it, is it like plastic seal? Yeah. 
This is such a random purchase for me, but I really, really liked it. So let's try and sit. Well, it's quite heavy as well. So it's the size of a proper skull, but a badass skull with bees all over it. Yeah, that's cool. Right? <laughs> yeah. How sick is that? But Manchester. Number 16 and it's fully stamped, but yeah. Like Manchester, Manchester Bee, Manchester, so then, even more yeah. so, yeah. Manchester Bee. That was pretty to cool. Him. Like, it's a skull because it's like what can kill me. Yeah. And I thought that was pretty dope. So, yeah, I got, yeah, got two of these, two of these uh, skulls. I got that one, and then. Uh, oh, was it two in there? Yeah. I've got, yeah, I got a white one as well, which I'll yeah. box in a minute. But, yo, shout out to the guy for getting it out to me quick, dude. I appreciate it a lot. And then, uh, from the same guy, I might be ordering my Halloween mask off him as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But I thought it looks pretty goddamn dope, yeah. right? Yeah, good. Need yeah, a spotlight yeah. on it. Right? It's yeah, lights yeah, up and sparkles. I want to put it somewhere where it's like can be on display, like wherever up there, you know, like. Yeah, get a shelf up there. Yeah, or something. I was gonna say, imagine if I got a shelf. Yeah, one either side of that yeah, see, thing there. Yeah, like that. Get a shelf like one there, one there, one there, sort of thing. Yeah, a bit higher up, like. Yeah. Bit gothic in that sort of thing. Like totally, you would not put this as my sort of vibe of thing, but it it just had so many, like, connections with me that I was like, you know what. I'm going for it, so yeah, check cool. it, mate. I'll unbox the other one down, I'll show you in a minute. Whoops. <laughs> Please read first. In like a sealed thing. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Oh, certificate. Hey Tom, just reaching out from the, from the grave to say a huge thanks for supporting the artwork. Without you, this wouldn't exist. For that, we are forever grateful. P.S. Wear the gloves provided. What? Whoops. <laughs> Wear the gloves provided when handling the skull as the natural eyes in your skin can tarnish the gold. Luckily, I haven't touched any of them. It's okay, I've got some Renaissance wax that we can clean it with if we need to. Sweet. Oh, whoa. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, I, you know, I fixed my signature. A dev, I've got two dev certificates. Be the, be the beehive skull and the killer bees skull. And in testimony, I fixed my signature June to seal... That is the official one, but he signed it on my birthday. Does he know he's done that? Or is that the day he's made it? When did you order yeah, it? Yeah, I... June. This is his official certificate of it, and he's put his signature. I officially authenticate this death certificate for the following skull, this skull, and he signed it on the 23rd of June, which is my birthday. Yeah, but when did you order it? Last week. You can't have ordered it, signed it then, surely. That's what, well, I don't know, he may have made it back then and just sold it to me. Oh, so if I, oh, the chances are that I've got something that he signed on the 23rd of June because he, he made it official then. I don't know. Or has he put my birthday? It's a death certificate, but I absolutely love that. That is amazing. Unless it's your death certificate. That's well, got his it's got <laughs> details on it and stuff yeah. like that. Whoa, so that's wicked. Where's the gloves? Yeah, how weird is it that we just went from the auction house thing to now me being like the auction house <laughs> yeah, guy? I'm oh, starting off this at £80, £80, £80, yeah, £80 yeah. 85 £85, £85, £85, £85, 90 95 95 I'll put this guy's Instagram down in the description. Um, I'll put his Instagram down in the description. And if you like him, feel free to support the guy. Like, I will say, I'm not going to lie, he's got some good stuff. Like, I don't really do art all that much, but like, I just thought this was so sick that I had, I had to get them. Because like, obviously it makes so much more sense now with what I've said. But, um, yeah, the, uh, what's it called? They're not cheap, I will say. They're definitely not cheap, but... You know, if you're going to support an artist for creating amazing work, that's always what I believe. Look at that. That looks sick. I'm so professional with these unboxings, aren't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting my teeth involved and everything. Look at that one. Yeah. This was the one I went to buy, and then I realised the other one as well. Nice. Look at that. Mm. Sick. Look how sick we both look together. Yes! Yeah. That's dope, isn't it? Do you know why they look good on either side of your chair? Yeah, I know what you mean, like, if you went there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put them there? Just for now, yeah. Look how sick they look. Yeah. He's done a smashing job with them, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, man. Yo, Jack, shout out to you, my brother. That's absolutely amazing. Oh, sorry. Do you want to know a, to know a crazy, <laughs> crazy fact? Uh, like I said, I reached out to the guy and I listened, I was talking to him about it. He was like, um, just want to say, you used to watch your uh, zombie videos back in the day. And I was like, no way, what a small world. <laughs> and we think, me and Marquez think, that he's made these on the 23rd of June yeah, yeah. and signed That's for them. Not that, not that it was signed for my birthday being like death certificate. We've read it. And how we how would he know your birthday? Maybe Google it or something like that. But, that, yeah, but I think he's pre -filled. I think he has he made it, hasn't he? I'm going to have to reach out to him and I'll find out yeah, if he yeah, has yeah. made one yeah. for my birthday. Because imagine if he has. Imagine if I just happen to buy two skulls <laughs> from Australia made because the birthday. bees that kill me, the Manchester <laughs> bees, <laughs> on your birthday. Halloween, and they're made on my birthday. Yeah. 
That's weird. But yeah, some cool little yeah. artworks on my house. Look at that. They're cool. <laughs> Put the goods there. <laughs> 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 yeah, they look sick. Yeah. Proper stoked. TC. Nice one. Cheers, Brisky. No Cameraman Macres, legend. The ultimate, like, bonus of owning a clothing line and having the office so close by is I'm going away tomorrow. And yes, I could just go in my wardrobe and get it all. But the thing is, then you've got to fold them, pack them and stuff like that. <laughs> Whereas I just, I roll up to the office and I'm like, I need one of everything. So mum's giving me one of everything, brand new, fresh, ready to rock and roll. So not only do we have the new Nomad shirts, we've got the new, we've got the new eye shirt, which I've still... I've, I, I've still not picked the name for it, but I've got I've got long sleeves. Oh, I've got a blueprint hoodie to take with me. I got, mate, I got everything. I got everything in all sorts. Oh hell yes! So so there's there's my there's my bags packed for Iceland. Yours? Wait, what? Okay. okay. So I'll tell you what I've put you in. Okay. I've you look so you. like Alice today. It's weird. Yeah, that's because I haven't washed my hair and I look a straw. <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. That's because I look a straw. <laughs> Do you think you're a teacher today? Jesus Christ. One like rating for the roast off carrot, but right, okay. So we've got, let's take a look. We've got Venture, long sleeve coat of arms, short sleeve coat of arms. We've got black Venture, oh, another white Venture. Oh, these t-shirt and long sleeves. Yeah, t-shirt and yeah, long sleeves. Yeah, t-shirt and long sleeves. We've then got the new, the, new, the new eye. We've then got two shirts not in things. Yeah, well, they're just spare ones for Okay, me. well, you keep them because I'm, no. I'm just... No, I'm taking the package ones. All right, then I've got a brand new blueprint hoodie looking beautiful. We've got the new medium Nomad. We've got the long... long sleeve. we got a long sleeve version of it. Just gone. Whoa. But was not cut. Is this the one we're writing on it or not? I have no idea. You're opening oh. it. Oh. They only came on Friday, but I only took the delivery and then we went Oh, to right. Give, him, one, uh, give him out one of them. We'll open and check. Right, so hold that thought. And then we've got a... If you want it in a bag, I'll get you one. Okay. okay. And mum's running off with a medium zipper puddy. But there you go. That's uh, all I need is one t-shirt a day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And a spare. Perfect. That's my packing done. What's that? Oh, and a coat of arms. Zip up hoodie. Whoop, 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 whoop. Damn. Look at this BMW. Damn. Damn, look at his BMW, mate. Damn, look at those wheels. Look at these scuffed up wheels. <laughs> Bogus wheel, man. Bogus wheel, man. Oh, damn it, he did it, did it. Oh, nice. You should find someone who does that. Oh, what the heck? I won't fall off any glasses, mum. What? I can't say this. Orion, you're going to have to blur that entire bit. Gives away where I'm going. It's a surprise. Have a nice time in, uh, <laughs> just, just put a beep noise over it. Hong Kong. Enjoy yeah, yeah. Well, Hong Kong's yeah, gonna be great. Yeah. I'm well looking forward to it. I'll where let you know I when I'm back from. Um, I'm, I'm back from Zimbabwe. <laughs> All right. All right then. South Africa. <laughs> I'll see you when I'm back from Africa. And we've arrived back at Decathlon. I came here once, and so now it's like my favourite place to go. I don't need to buy the entire store. Okay, let's keep it simple. I need thermal top pants. I need some socks. Some thermal glut socks. I think I should be a okay. And that's an exit. That's an entrance, not an exit. She's breaking more. Still a bit. Size of that. Okay, mind blown. It's actually a trolley. That's amazing. I love it. Okay, where am I going? All right, I've been directed to boys ski clothing for thermals underneath. That looks like a thermal. That looks kind of exactly what I need, but I don't think I'll fit in that. And it's only gonna be it's only gonna be nine degrees, so it's not freezing. But I'd like a thermal layer, which I think is smart. But then I am tempted to try and find it, see if I can find like a Gore-Tex black coat or something, so. I might just buy one of these to take to show the boys, you know, because why not? And like I was saying, it's only nine degrees there, so it's not that cold. It's 14 right now in England, so that's not too bad. But this, this is what I need. Just a thermal layer to go under everything else I'm wearing. Thermal bottom, thermal top, check. Socks. This is all I can find. Like, oh, hang on a minute, take it back. Is this what I need? I need, like, yeah, warm, like, hiking socks pair of gloves this seems like the perfect decision they feel nice they're comfortable they're lightweight only thing is does it actually touch the screen if it works and they work with touching glass and the phone the video should stop nice and as for socks this seems it'll do the trick and i tell you something as far as coats go i think i may have just found my perfect coat i don't know if it's waterproof or it what does it say it just says medium that's not that's not that useful but i would assume a waterproof windproof coat Oop, blind. <laughs> hey, it's only 35 quid and it's waterproof and warm. I, I love it. The best thing about this coat is it's nice and lightweight as well, so kind of perfect for traveling light. Don't want to go over the weight barriers or anything like that, so. All right. 
time to go try it all in the changing room, if there even is one. Don't fear, Thermal Tom is here. <laughs> these, these fans are massive. So I either look like I'm going to a cold country or I'm gonna rob your house. Either one, but everything fits. Like, this is all I need. Got my Syndicate original gear, got the thermals, got a coat. We're good. I'd say that was a completely successful trip for a, a coat, all my thermals, gloves and socks. 99 quid. I approve. Welcome to Tom's Traveling Today. Yeah. All right. So I have eight pairs of socks and boxers. I have my thermals. Cool. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the shirt I'm going to wear on the day. Shirts for wearing every single day whilst we're out there. I don't want to have two extra pairs of socks. I must have accidentally not put them in. So there's the extra pairs of socks. Cool. Gloves. Winneroni pepperoni. When you're packing, try and put the things you want first in last. That way it's on top. Haha, -ha, wow, as if everyone in the world didn't already know that. And then I've got my zip up hoodie, perfect. And I've got my blueprint hoodie, which I think I'm gonna travel in. And then I'm gonna take this as well, because I love this jacket. It's just, it's my windbreaker, I like it a lot. And then um, I'm gonna put the big coat in last. So when we get to Iceland, if it's freezing cold, I can just bang that on. Now for travel bag, we're gonna sim- Okay, well I don't have a travel bag up here. Where where's the bloody travel? I could if I want, just go like this. All right, how many travel bags on planes have we got like this? Oh, he's filled with other travel bags from flying. So I think I do actually have one downstairs though. But th this, this might be the first time in history I've actually packed for a trip in advance. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe it's just like, I don't wanna miss a flight after I miss that Germany one, feel pretty bad about myself. So I'm getting, I'm getting packed now, I'm getting organized. I don't have the little plastic inside travel bag because it popped and oh my god, my underfloor heating's on. Oh, that's so nice. A little digital thing there saying 21 degrees under the floor. Tiny, tiny little, uh, what's it called? Toothpaste, toothbrush in there, stick of deodorant. That no, way it's not a liquid or anything like that. Small travel aftershave, I like it. There's, is there even any, is there any in it? Hello, hello. There's actually, is there any in it? Oops. <laughs> yep, there is. <laughs> okay, aftershave and then. To everyone who's been asking me at the moment, Tom, you don't look like you're using your normal hair stuff. I'm not, I'm using this. A Vins? Is that what it's called? Is it, D is it De Vins? Is that a D? De Vins? And I bought this in America once, and I'll tell you something, it's probably been the best I've ever used. It's really good, strong, like, like, wax. And I really like it, and it's like a dry look as well, which looks good. And then, obviously, can't forget the good stuff. Floyd's Grooming Dust. Half the time, if you can't be spiking spike in your hair up, just put this in, you're booming. And that's all I take in my little travel bag like that. Seeing as though I am going to be in a camper van tomorrow at the airport, I'll get them little tiny little bottles of uh, like shampoo and body wash. I'll just get some of them for the for the RV, and I should be good. But like, I'm not even kidding. If I've got this already, and we ign ignore this, this is I don't know what's going on here. You know, like, do you like how every do you like how this room was so clean and tidy, and then I've just been delivered so many packages recently that it's kind of just got a bit out of hand. So we need to do a tip run. But uh, inside here, I should have ta da. Hiking boots, K-Guard hiking boots, which I probably only ever wore once, but I have boots. Track that statement, I have boot. I, I, have, one, I have one boot, where's my other boot? That's the, ah, there it is. Right, take it back, I have boots, I have K-Guard boots. Um, don't know how many, I don't know if these have ever been worn, there's still a sticker on the bottom of them. But we now have boots, which I'm gonna fit into the suitcase as well. I was almost gonna travel in these, which might be a bit like, that's not comfy, but it's only a three hour flight. They're heavier to weigh down my bag, and then I could put, I could cramp down the Yeezys and squash the Yeezys in a, in my suitcase, which would be like the perfect, the perfect plan. But let's try and put these in the suitcase. And then something else I need is a towel because we are going to be in a camper van. I'm sure that's provided in our RV, which for the record, the RV uh, has been confirmed. I don't know if I even told you guys that, but I got an email saying, congratulations, your, your order's been accepted. So great, great success. Um, is there anything else I'd need to take with me? Mag light, taking this, you might be like, why? Dunno, it's just a badass, badass torch, innit? Like, you can't go wrong with a mag light. I'm gonna take a mag light. Everyone always asks this in my comments, why do I have this now near the side of my bed? I dunno, but you know, when things get a little bit hot, you need to put it out. But no, I, I won't be taking that, we're gonna, we're gonna leave that there. Multi-country charger thingy-majig, yep, that's a check. I've lost all my battery packs, all of them. I only just bought some recently, and I've lost them all again. Don't even know how I've achieved, I don't know how I've managed it. I've lost every single one of them. All of them are gone. Um, so that, that's a bummer. I think I will indeed be taking, it's annoying that I have to take two now, my shavers, so I'll have them on charge overnight tonight. 
Don't think I need it. Oh, I do actually have. Oh, no, it's empty. I was going to say, I have travel size shampoo in here already, but it's empty. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, I mean, coat's there. That's there. Put the toilet trees in. I think I'm organised. Wow. Currently live streaming uh, the KSI Logan press conference right now because I'm doing a bit of a watch along. They're 30 minutes late already, so I'm not too impressed. And now they're an extra two minutes late. Not impressed. I can't really judge anyone for being late or anything like that. But lo and behold, we've got 7,453 people up in here. That's right. 7,453 people all up in here saying, let's go champ. Sat inside on a day like today. Look at that view. Bloody hell. That is absolutely gorgeous. And if these guys could hurry up, that'd be great. So I did indeed sit and watch the entire press conference. It was like an hour worth of just... It was like it, a lot of nonsense. And really, like, JJ handled himself really well. Uh, Logan was just an absolute idiot the entire time. And the fact that Jay Paul was even there was like, a, what, is, what is going on right now? But uh, I did indeed live stream it. It was amazing. With like nearly 10,000 people in there watching this this press conference together and just reading the chat was the best thing ever. Uh, you'll see a video come out of like my full reaction of like what I think about the fight um, and the actual press conference itself. I also did a challenge that every time the guy Shannon Briggs went... Let's go champ! There's this fighter guy from the, like, he's really successful career, but like known from the past for shouting, let's go champ! That's like your thing, like, you know, I'd say life's too short, but the most of it is so he's let's go champ guy, which, you know, I say my saying every now and again, he says it back to back to back to back. And I came up with the idea is if he says let go, let's go champ, every time he says it, I'll donate 10 pounds to charity. I think we ended up raising, me, myself personally, 130 quid to charity. Because at one stage he went, let's go champ! Let's go champ! Let's go, champ. And I was like, this guy's just cost me 30 quid to mow a neuron disease. But can't complain because it's going to a good cause. So I love doing that. Like turning like something that could be so simple into like a productive, like charitable cause. So great success. Uh, then a massive shout out to the two people. Someone donated $150 and then someone donated 100. I said, you know what? We'll throw that all together to charity. So like $350 for charity, which is an absolute win. But I have got a video um, coming out on the main channel, I think today. So if it is out by the time this vlog's live, I will link it down in the description. You guys can go check it out. It'll be like a breakdown from the entire hour live stream into like a 10, 20 minute video or something like that. I, I don't know, maybe longer, who knows? But it'll be like my full reaction to my predictions of the, uh, the KSI Logan fight. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm not gonna lie. I'd like to see a uh, Jake Paul fight uh, Addison Gibb. Um, I, I think that would be an interesting fight. It'll just be absolutely brutal and just chaotic. But hey, that's boxing, and that's sometimes what people want to say. So I'm gonna have to go now, guys. I know it might seem like I abruptly ended my day, but that was a long ass live stream, and I've just been trying to get ready for Iceland. Uh, oh wait, Orion, cut that last bit out. Sorry, I accidentally said where I was going again. You guys may be like, Tom, we already know where you're going. You drunkenly said it yesterday, but don't spoil it. Secrets, trying to keep it fun and suspenseful. And yes, I was drunk and, and, and said where I was going, but it is what it is, all right? It's half past 10 right now, and I need to be getting to the airport for 12.55, so I'm gonna go. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, Crane, subscribe, and I'll see all you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next daily vlog, where I will be indeed on my adventure, and hopefully, 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 not having the worst internet troubles ever to try and get the vlog uploaded to you guys. Like, I can't mess this up. Like, I can, because I'm gonna be in the middle of nowhere in an RV, but I'm gonna really, really, really try. And if for some reason, if I have to change the vlog quality from 1080p, 60 FPS, to 720, I know the quality will suck, but at least then I can get the footage to you guys, well, to Orion, for a daily vlog for your faces. So until then, we'll see how, we're, we'll see how it all pans out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Much love.